now let us discuss about acceptability of a string by finite automata it may be either deterministic finite automata or non deterministic finite automata or language accepted by finite automata let m be the given finite automata so m means mission so for the mission we are designing some finite automata and w be the given string then to check whether the input string is accepted by finite automata or not we have to use the following so we have a finite automata represented by m and a input string represented by w so w means string can also be called as word so in the word the first letter is w and then in order to check whether the given input string is accepted by finite automata or not uh, we have to use this notation delta of we know about delta it is a transition function here delta i accept two arguments the first argument is q not q not is initial state comma second argument is w w is the string input string uh, this uh, it specifies uh, we know about star star means zero or more transitions so star means zero or more so on applying zero or more input symbol on the current state we will get a state called qf so if we have like this then we can say that here we have one we can say that we have one transition so we will apply one transition on q not if we have two here then we will apply two transitions on the current on the initial state that is q not but here we have star so star represents zero or more so on applying zero or more input symbols on the initial state if we get qf we will get a state called qf if qf this symbol is belongs to if qf belongs to capital f so capital f means set of final states if qf belongs to capital f then we can say that this string w is accepted by the finite automata suppose if qf doesn't belongs to capital f that means if the state is not the final state then we can say that that string is rejected by the finite automata now let's see a simple example so for the dfa Uh, we have to take an input string and we need to check whether the string is accepted or not here our target is uh, we are designing a dfa for strings starting with a so here the alphabet contains two symbols so they are a and b they are a and b but here the strings must starts with a so first let's see the grammar l equal to here the string starts with a so the minimum string is a after a we don't have any symbols next string is here the string starts with a after a we can have single a after a we can have single b if we observe the fourth one here the string starts with a after a we can have any number of a's and b's so in order to design the dfa first we have to determine how many states are needed so in order to determine number of states we have to take the length of the minimum string here the minimum string is a a length is 1 so how many states are required we require uh, uh, length plus 1 states so here the length of the minimum string is 1 so 1 plus 1 means two states here we require two states so the first state is q0 which is initial state and the next state is q1 which is the final state so if we apply a on q0 then we will go to a state called q1 but this is not dfa dfa means we must apply input alphabet symbols on the each and every state so on q0 we have to apply a and b on q1 also we have to apply a and b but here on q0 only a is applied now let us apply b here the string starts with a suppose if the string starts with b let the string is bab here the string is starting with b then we can say that that is not a valid string so that string must be rejected by the dfa so for that purpose here we are using a state called dead state 
let the dead state is q pi so this q pi means dead state so from the dead state we don't have any transition to other states so on q pi that means if the string starts with b after b if we have any number of symbols then we will be at dead state only let the string is bab so if we apply b on q not then we will go to q pi next symbol is a if we apply a on q pi then we will be at q pi only next symbol is b if we apply b on q pi then we will be at b only next here the string is starting with a so after a we can have any number of a's and b's so we can apply the uh, self loop like that now let's take a string and check whether the input string is accepted by finite automata or not here let us take this string so delta of here what is the first argument q not comma input string so let the input string is uh, double a double b let the input string is double a double b we can take any string but here what is the constraint the string must starts with a after a we can have any number of s and b's next we have to use a symbol like this so now underline a so underlining a means we have to apply a on q not so if we apply a on q not we will get q1 so what is the next state so delta of q1 comma so here this a is applied so the remaining symbols are a b b are the remaining symbols now we have to apply this a on q1 so underline this a symbol so if we apply a on q1 if we apply a on q1 we will get q1 only so q1 comma remaining input symbols are b and b next underline b so if we apply b on q1 if we apply b on q1 we will get q1 next remaining symbol b next if we apply b on q1 we will get q1 so what is this q1 this q1 is nothing but final state so we can say that this input string is accepted by the finite automata or dfa so in the examination if the question is given on designing dfa or nfa then uh, after drawing the diagram you need to take an input string and you need to check whether that string is accepted by dfa or not so this is about acceptability of a string or language accepted by finite automata we know that language means a collection of strings so language accepted by the